So it's, those compilations, I don't think, are the dates of the performers at all. But I think sometimes what's handed to you, you're like, how am I? I need to show up authentically to this thing, and then I think some people can hear it. And it's a testament to those in the creative space, writers, producers, directors, who really feel and give you space to express authenticity. Yeah. I mean, this is this is really hard. This is a really hard art form uh, to perform for. Even very good actors are not so great <laughs> at, at dubbing. Like I said you have to you have to square with the idea and the fact that you will eventually sound like crap at something. Yeah. I said that a couple days ago. Like, it's, a, it's a great equalizer. Like you will it just because it's a director's medium. Like you have so little control over it. And there's just and it's so fast. You don't yeah. get a lot of time being serious. What content? Here's the next line. Yeah. Well, we really need to get going. We just do it twice and move on. I don't know. We barely looked at it. Yeah. And something I just mentioned is context. Yeah. Like, <laughs> talk about that. Lack of context. Yeah. There's just like none sometimes, and sometimes the team doesn't know what's going on, and the writing's weird, and there's just no idea. It's not like localized super well. And people people don't talk about this. And I'm just like, no one speaks like this. <laughs> Did anyone read this out loud? <laughs> anyone? Anyone? No, that's what we're paying you to do. And go. <laughs> and we're recording, and we might use this tape in the final. Yeah, yeah, but, uh, but no, you, you, again, you do your best with what you got as in life, so, yeah. Life's is rough, too. Yeah. Uh, that sucks. <laughs> I think I might have cut you off, Erica. I mean, me? Yeah, no, no, no. Lucian might have something else to say. Oh, I... Who knows? <laughs> okay, well, what else? Right, difficulty. Oh, I was just gonna say, okay. yeah, because I'll come over as you know. In our ideal medium, we are reacting in the moment, maybe you know, with other performers um, in our own time, um, you know. But but then you put the technical constraints of dubbing, for example, and so now you have to take those natural instincts that you have as a performer, but you have to fit them to very strict parameters, where this has to be one and a half seconds long, and then you have to pause for half a beat, and then finish your thought, and you have to take two and a half seconds, and that's the timing. And maybe if you were left to your own devices, if this was a stage production, you would spin it, you know, any number of other ways, but it needs to be done just so. Uh, so we're kind of, it's kind of like we're fitting our uh, jigsaw piece into a puzzle and we're hoping that it'll all, by the end, blend and seem like a seamless piece. Uh, but there's so many things that can go astray uh, during that process. Again, a clunky script or lack of context, it's like, mm, doesn't quite sound like he's responding to that person in the moment or that's the wrong word you would emphasize if you knew they had set it up this way, and there's so many things, so and also, it's just really difficult. Under the umbrella of like, yeah, the fact that I'm not, you know, when I'm in the and this occurs, which it does sometimes, like, I'm not blaming anyone. I mean, everybody, again, is doing the best with what they have, so we just can work together as a team to try to make it as clear uh, as we possibly can. sort of the teamwork, you know, between audio engineers, the directors, and the actors, and, you know, the, the people that are interpreting the scripts and all that stuff. That's one thing I didn't really realize when I started voice over myself. And, um, but I think it, it makes your challenge just to emphasize the, the challenge of this medium, especially in, in a dubbing environment, is that, you know, in many ways, the audio engineer and the director are sometimes looking at things from a very technical perspective. Director, you know, has a view and stuff like that, they still have a creative view, but you know, audio engineer is very technical. And the actor that comes in, you know, you are sort of, it's almost like you're driving through rush hour traffic when you're trying to deliver these lines. It's very structured, the timing is very, very important. And you're coming in with the, the uh, variability of requiring an emotional connection, right? And I think that's very challenging, and it's, yeah. And like listening to your guys' performances in the past and stuff like that, it's just accomplished amazing things. So it's yeah, especially song you know. Robin, my singe, woohoo! Ah, the drama. I think um, 
We went down some really great path, which means where our time is running low. So I do want to, um, I think the theme that I'm pulling out of this is honestly like self-care is important, mental health is important. And when you are called to deliver something quite vulnerable for yourself, and you're in a booth by yourself, then you go home <laughs> by yourself. I, I just uh, am curious if you have any words that if, if you could instill in someone in your position about taking care of yourself in this world that calls for... Don't think 100% is what you need to give for the, someone to receive it well. 100% might be too much. You might be able to give 90, 95. It's okay that you don't give absolutely everything you have and are hurt by your work. It's okay to hold the piece you need back to come back. Because a lot of us are attracted to art because we're sensitive, because we're maybe healing. I know I'll never be the same. Shook my world so hard again. Wish I washed away my sins. He's a dead man walking, blank staring. Should have been surprised when they shot him down Cold blood to the ground 